to make science uh, interesting for people. First of all, we are born scientists. When we're born, we wonder what's out there. We begin to wonder about the sun, life, the stars, uh, what makes the oceans, the weather. We're born scientists. And then something happens. When we hit the danger years, the danger years of junior high school and high school, that's when it's literally crushed out of us. Those are the worst. Every little flower of curiosity, said Einstein, is crushed by society itself. Because we have to learn all these facts, figures, memorization, we think that memorization is science. And that's not true at all. Uh, my daughter had to take the Regents exam once, and she had to memorize all these facts and figures about minerals, crystals, for a geology exam. Nowhere did I see the true driving force of geology, which is continental drift. That's the organizing principle for all of geology. And yet the exam was memorizing all the names of the crystals and the minerals. And then later she comes up to me and says, Daddy, why would anyone want to become a scientist? That was the most humiliating event in my entire life. I felt like taking that book and ripping it apart because that exam was crushing, crushing curiosity right out of the next generation. And then we wonder, hey, how come people are not more interested in science? Duh, okay? Also take a look at how Richard Feynman looked at this. Uh, Richard Feynman, the Nobel laureate, was a child and his father would take him to the forest and explain why birds are 